Hi, I'm Amelia, Water Use Efficiency Specialist and Landscape Architect with the Santa Margarita Water District. Today we are highlighting swales and dry creek beds. This sustainable garden feature slows down and filters stormwater and sprinkler runoff while creating an attractive focal element within your landscape. Swales are a graded linear ditch that use plants or rocks to slow down water to filter or let it soak into the garden before leaving down the drain. The lowest point where the water flows is called the flow line. This is where water can potentially pond during a rain event or even with daily irrigation runoff. The flow line is what directs the water to where you want it to go, usually to an overflow, drain, or a gutter. We are here at a home in Mission Viejo where a homeowner has taken out their lawn and put in a rock swale within a drought tolerant garden. As you can see, they have mapped out a course for the water from the copper rain chain through the swale and finally out to the street. This rocky path of travel will settle out dirt and debris from the water while slowing down the water to percolate into the garden soil all before exiting out to the street and into the storm drain. When designing a swale, first you should consider its location, 10 feet away from the home foundation. Secondly, its shape, straight like a parkway, or meander like a creek or dry creek bed. Thirdly, its depth. The deeper you go, the more water you can collect. For every one foot deep you dig, allow at least three feet of space on each side of the flow line. That means one foot deep equals at least six feet wide. The steeper the edges, the more potential you have for erosion. Steep slopes make it harder for mulch, soil, and smaller rocks to stay put. Lastly, you need to decide what materials you want to use, rocks, plants, or mulch. Larger rocks can be used to stabilize the edges of the swale, and smaller rocks can fill in the flow line. Permeable weed barrier fabric can be used to suppress weeds under the rock, but typically three inch minimum layer of rock or mulch will accomplish the same result. Plants that are suitable for inside and outside the swale can be found at the California Stormwater Quality Association website, as well as our very own ocplants.org. Thank you for joining us today to learn about swales and dry creek beds.